My name is Bernard Ashwanden. One of the things we do at Publishing Smarter is create videos like this one in order to help companies and people improve their documentation creation, management, and publishing workflows. In this video, what I want to do is show you a little bit about how you can use a CCMS, specifically EasyData, in order to either create topics or to upload them from a repository or a location that you've already created them. Let's start off by first creating a brand new topic. For the first example, I'm going to create a basic concept. When I want to create a new object, I have to give it a name. Here I'm going to name it with C underscore in order to identify it as a concept very quickly when it comes to sorting my information. And then I'm just going to give it a generic name for a concept. There's two choices available after I type the name. One is to create and open the new document, which I'll show in a few moments but the other is to just create, and that's what I'm going to click. The new concept is created. It's stored inside the demo folder, and you can see the name of it, C underscore generic concept, which is what I had typed, dot data, which is the automatic extension that's assigned to it. The document type is flagged as a concept. There's no status associated with this to speak of, and the date is the current time. I'm going to create one more new document, but this time I'm going to change things just a little bit. So to begin, again, I click Create New. Also remember that right now I'm creating these two new topics inside the CCMS. I'm going to choose Task. Again, I have to type in a name, and this time I'm going to give it T underscore and make it into a generic task. Instead of just creating a new document, I'm going to click on Create and Open New Document. Because the EasyData CCMS is set up with an integrated editor, I'm automatically going to have the document created for me, but I'm also going to be able to start editing the material that's inside of it. If EasyData has to process, a splash screen like this one is displayed with a status bar. That splash screen can be really quick or it could take a while. It depends on the type of process that you're running, and how busy the server is. In this example, because the file name was set up as T generic task, that's automatically assigned to the title. I can highlight that information and change it. Typing in a new title is pretty easy. And when I'm done, I just click on save. Because I'm using a CCMS to create this new topic, a few things are automatically done as well. If you notice, roughly in the center, I have the author. I also have a set of keywords, and I have an email address in order to reach the author. This metadata has been automatically assigned by the CCMS. I don't have to depend on my author to remember to insert the information. When I'm done with any edits, I can click Close. The file's closed, and you can see that now there are two documents that I've created. Now, both of those were created inside the CCMS. But if I've also taken the time to create a range of data topics outside of the CCMS, in this example, I can upload them from a zip. So what I'd have to do is externally zip the files, make sure that they're available, and then I go ahead and I click Upload. The dialog gives me a little more information in relation to upload, including what I'm able to upload. This is actually a really good example of integrated help. The information that I need to support uploading is already on screen. I don't have to go elsewhere searching for it. I'm going to click on Browse. After I click on Browse, a traditional file upload dialog displays. Inside it, I can navigate to the desktop and I can select a specific file, such as the user guide, which is a zip document. Next, I'm going to click on Open. After a few moments, a list of all of the different files that are found inside the zip file are displayed. Technically speaking, I could do all kinds of configuration options here, decide which files to include or not include, check some of the different actions that are available. But in order to move ahead and progress, I'm just going to click on Save in order to put all of the files into the system. Depending on the size of the files, it could end up taking a while to send the selection to the server. The original zip file was the user guide, and here a new folder is created based on the name of that zip folder. Let's drill down into the user guide folder and see what happened. Inside the user guide folder is an entire list of all of the different files that were automatically uploaded. Again, this is really useful if you've created files outside of your CCMS and you need to add them, 
but a good CCMS will also allow you the opportunity to create content internal through something like the create new feature that you saw at the beginning of the video.